Hey, beautiful beings. I'm just going to decorate this one before I put the thing in. So I'm taking some washi tape. Let's glue. right there because I don't like their washi tape <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna replace their washi tape with my washi tape okay and then I cut out another mushroom and these leaves from our cupcakes with a stick I just took the stick off and I forgot to mention in another video if you use these and you want to keep the stick you can paint them they paint up real nice Okay, so I'm gonna get all this stuff organized and I'm gonna glue this down. And see this has a stain there? I have no idea if that's just on the original cardstock or what's going on there. I'm gonna put this a little bit away from there. I'm not sure. I should have measured that. I just want that there. Then I'm going to put that here somewhere right there I inked up around them can't really tell but I did which way does this go I think I'm gonna do it that way because it's more puffy on this side so yeah just using Elena's because I don't know I doubt that Elmer's will hold this down so I want a thicker thicker blue there easy easy I'm gonna take that straight, but that's okay. <laughs> this point, I don't even care. It looks cute the way it is. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll put the paper in. I don't know if I wanna do anything on in here. In the back, I don't know. Maybe a little pocket or something to hide something. That's what I was thinking. But I gotta figure out what we're gonna make it out of <laughs> and what pattern. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. <laughs> I couldn't stop. This matches that cardstock so good. These cupcake holders from Dollar Tree. So I cut some out. I didn't see. And now we're gonna glue them down. I couldn't resist. They just go so good with it. Now, I couldn't resist. I have to add some gel pen. I already did this, but some of it's come off. Because it didn't sit long enough. Real thin line here. And up here. They just blended in so good. Those leaves 
of that cardstock. Okay. And there we go. All right, I'm done with the front. I'm not gonna do any more to it. Okay, beautiful beings. This is for the back of this. I just took a Maj Baj container and I'm gonna take a pencil and just draw a circle around it, the bottom, and use that for my cupcake. My cupcake. And I don't care if it's not big enough, I just want something stable for a pocket for underneath it. Then I took this and just went around and curved in. See, I curved in a little bit and went out. Curved in a little bit and went out. That's all I did, all the way around, okay? All right, let me cut this out. Okay, all I did was use a Kleenex box, okay? Flip it that way, and then we're gonna glue that down here. Might just do like some more leaves that I cut out. And I could always do a 3D look and put it over when it's exactly the same. Plus, I got another mushroom I could put in there. And of course, I got a pumpkin I could put in there. Okay. Do I have one of those leaves? For 3D effect, and I even have one of these for a 3D effect. I need something at the bottom. Put a leaf there. Coordinate those two in together. It up, make sure everything's in its right spot. Okay, I got all the leaves. Just like along the edge here. And there you go. A little 3D effect. Okay. Okay. This is going to sit like this. So, I think this is before. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And I'm showing you before. Then I'm going to show you the after I ink it up so you can see the difference. It's, it's still wet. That's why I'm being careful with it. But maybe I should just glue that around now that I think about it. I probably should, so I just did that for nothing. But. At least I got to show you it. See how it defines it? Like, see, around the edges. It does define it. And you can see the background. I should, probably should have done a brown, but it doesn't matter. It just gives it another pattern. So it's not too bad it is coming through, but it's all right. It just looks like there's a tree actually back there. Okay? But, yeah. At least you got to see that, but I probably am going to glue this because it's going to be hard to talk. So I'm gonna do is wrap this around. One with a 
ink around it and one without it and one just wrapped around it. So if you cut up a cupcake and you want to blend it, blend it or anything, you want to blend it with into it, that's how you do it with ink. Okay. All right. I'm going to let this dry and wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I decided I wanted to add some writing. Okay. I'm gonna set this aside to dry. Okay, I got time to make one more before the working man comes home and I have to make him dinner. I mean, you could probably have that look. Screw it, let's do that look. Let's do that look. We can do that look. What's going on over here though? We can do that look. Nobody's probably ever done that look. <laughs> so we'll do that look. All right, why not? Why not? It's getting all wrapped. Oh. Try something new. I'll try something new. I should put beads on there if I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's straighten this. Let's pull it really tight. Then you can even hang stuff from there if you wanted. You can clip things up in there wanted to. I'm gonna go down here on this side. Oop. In that hole. You know it should be getting easier the more times. Oh they only went through that hole once but there we go. There we go. Come on now. What's going on with that? It's making me think I got another one that's wrapped around on that side. They don't. This isn't this hard, guys. It's just because I got a small needle head, which means a smaller tip. See? Let me show you. The bigger it goes through, the bigger the hole. Okay, and I got a medium one, but my beads won't fit on here. And I'm trying to get rid of these beads because I've had them for years. Because I haven't played with them, only with journals. So we need to get rid of the beads. I get rid of the beads. I can buy bigger beads with bigger, not bigger beads, but beads with bigger holes. So I don't have to do this. Right, we're going to put this around here now. That we're straight and that one shouldn't be on yet I don't know all right this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put this over here so this don't get all tangled now we're gonna add some beads and I think they'll just be in the middle on this one I'm gonna try to pull these so they're tighter especially with this now I can show you what to do with that one thing all right we're gonna start out what do we got here? The brown. Okay. I'm putting it this way so the, because you know how that's upside down. I'm putting that so it's beside the bead. Okay. So it goes around the bead. I'll do this. And then we'll do a green in this way. So it goes around the bead. I guess when you get to that point, it don't matter, but I like to start them out so they go around the bead. Then we're gonna do a yellow one. Okay. 
And then, do we have a green one? A light green one. Was that orange? No, let's do an orange bead or sequence. And then gold. And then darker green. We got enough beads out. I didn't make, plan on making this this long. But if we don't, we can get more. Do a white one. Go back to a gold one. Do I have a brown one in there? I think that's gold. No, that's orange. So we want a brown one. Brown one. And then we got this. I'll put that on the end. Put that one in there. And then probably another gold. If it wants to go on. And then a long one. And then another white one. And I have an idea, so don't worry. I didn't screw this up. I have an idea to show you about these out the side, okay? Right, now, it's good enough. Where's our hole right there? Did we go past it? We kinda did, kinda did. Let's see. That's just my phone. I'm getting telemarketers all day. And then they hang up. Right, that's kind of bulgy, but believe it or not, they'll be okay because when you go to write in it, it's upside down, but you, you, know, you can put it on this side to write or this side to write. Okay. All right, back to this. What are we gonna do with this? Oh. What's going on here? Did I wrap it all the way around? <laughs> oh, I gotta go back in. All right. We go back in. Oh, that's gonna be right there. That's good. No, we don't wanna go back in there, do we? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, because I went in there. That's right, and then I just tie a knot. So we're gonna come back up through. Doing this on the fly, guys. Doing this on the fly, beautiful beings. Right, and try to, yep, same hole, awesome. If I just get that through. <laughs> right. Gonna pull the one up because I forgot to pull that up a little bit. I kind of like it when I show you the mistakes because then I just show you how to fix them <laughs> or go with it. I'm gonna tie a knot there and then another knot. Right. I don't even think I don't know. I put a bow if they'll hide friends or not, or family. So let's see. Put a bow here. I think it'll be all right. Double knot the bow so it don't come loose. Like that. Ravel on because that's what this unraveled because I was trying to get through the needle head because it's so small. It took a while, but I got it. So I'm gonna cut that off. 
here's that on both sides what it looks like and then stick on this side I have nope where's my little paper clip it's not in there it's in one of these lids and well it was maybe I put it in here not that one Where's my little paper clip? It was right here. All right, hold on. Okay, just in case this doesn't work, I got a couple other ideas. And I probably should have tried this before I come back, but I did. I got this little bead. I got this little paper clip. I'm gonna try to bend this a little bit to open it up enough to put the little bead on there. That. Then I got another one that's green. Here. I don't think I got any little ones. Well, I was going to say, please fit. <laughs> then I can just put the paper clip through the yarn. And hang it like that. Like I said, if this don't work, it hangs good on that side. But I got this. This is a pen that I already did another time ago. Take this and put that there and just have it hang down. Right. These are just ideas for that we left up there that I messed up. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Then I got this. This doesn't go with it. The closest thing I could find, half a moon. A full moon would probably be good. But half moon, there's half moons during fall. And then take this. Okay, this is what that is. Right, I just adjusted it to a chime. You can get these at the Dollar Tree too. You can get them in different colors. And just put that there. Okay? This one's kind of wonky, not working. If you hung it upside down, it probably would. But it's up to you. These are just examples. Okay? You can hang something from it like that. Anything you want. All right? Just a couple examples what to do with that if you do make that mistake and you don't want to try to rip the paper or you think you will or whatever. You don't want to take it off, okay? Just a couple examples. I kind of like that half moon there. I think it looks pretty cool there. And I kind of like that there too. So I think I'm going to leave those two and take this one off. Okay, and that's our last one. Believe it or not. <laughs> So I'm gonna get them all together and go through them and show them to you. Okay, beautiful beings, final reveal. I did this, leaves are falling and fall is calling. Get the plane on the inside. And we put a little embellishment on the back. Now we have this one. Put a safety pin. Thankful, candy corn, apple cider, pumpkin, ice caps. And all the paper. Leaves are falling. A little embellishment in the back. This one is just simple. Got this one. We didn't put nothing in the inside. Because they already had the leaves pocket there too. Oh, 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 I'll just grab one of these. Put pocket here. And we flip it and got another pocket on the inside. Here. Okay. And then the back. Or it could be the front. Doesn't matter. 
The other one could be the back or the front. Oh, and I forgot to read that. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Good lesson for all of us, huh? Right. Got this one, October. Halloween greetings. I'm putting on the top there. And I did, I took this and I put a feather on there. With a sequence right there. Up the moon on the back, so I thought that looked cute. Blessed. Family, laughter, blessed. And inside, we just left plain in case they want to add something for themselves. Same with this, up the plain, because they can add that way, they can add whatever they would like to add. Small one. Welcome fall, chilling weather, just in time for sweaters. And then we put a little embellishment on the back. And they can right here, right here, whatever they want. Simple, whoop. We put it on a pin. We decorated it. This one. Show you the beads. This one was just a simple bead. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Cozy sweaters, flannels, and bonfires. That's my own definition of cozy <laughs> for fall. In the back. Okay, and then this one. Hello, beautiful fall. Pocket right here and the beads. Oh, no beads, just jewelry. You can remember to keep your old jewelry, it falls apart or breaks because you can always use it for a journal. <laughs> and the waves inside, journal and pages, and another pocket over here. Here. Okay. And then we got this one. There's beads. A little butterfly on this one. I used a black pen on that one to match that. And I've got a pocket here. This is another envelope. Mention that, but you've seen the video, so you know these are all envelopes. These three, these three are made out of envelopes. Okay. Then we put fresh smell of fall in the air. A bunch of journaling pages and pumpkins. Pick pick your own pumpkins. I put that one in there. Pick your own pumpkins because the truck. And I did add glitter in this one. That, that um, <clears throat> crap. You know what I'm talking about. If you watch my videos, I can't remember. There you go. And then this one, we just did. Put a stamp down. And we put the beads at the top. Put a pocket in the back. Other little fairies. Tree branch coming out and helicopter things. I don't know what kind of tree that is. <laughs> Hologram, that's what it is. Sorry, it comes always comes later. You put the hologram glitter on it and this. And then oh, this is upside down. And then we put that to hide that little rip from the stitch there. And then all of our journal and pages and that. And I hope you have enjoyed making little fall notebooks with me. And have wonderful everything.